sometimes, particularly those of us who are more comfortably off, who are better off wherever we live, um, we can be afraid that because the problem of poverty is so enormous that we can't even begin to make a difference to it. So we hide away and we stay in our church buildings and we do our thing, our worship and everything, which is fine, that's all good, that's not bad, but what's bad is our fear of going out and setting out and actually meeting ordinary local people who probably live next door to us or not far away, maybe a couple of miles away, who are really destitute sometimes. And I think until we actually go and put ourselves in that place and listen to people, I don't know if we are following the example of Jesus, because I see him doing that all the time. Get out of your church and listen to people that are walking past, and then you will understand that if you're to serve them uh, from the point of view of the gospel, then you need to see the reality of their story. I've always respected and valued the um, work of Church Action um, and think that for, for the size of the organisation, what it is able to achieve and the voice that it has and the voice that it gives to people uh, is, is so valuable. One of the things that Church Action is great at is, is actually encountering people who are in poverty. Uh, I think a lot of churches that are more wealthy um, perhaps never hear directly the, the voice of people who are experiencing lived um, experiences of poverty and so finding ways to encounter people directly and just talk to each other that's really important. The stuff that Church Action on Poverty does uh, you know, locally and nationally is really really important and, and I don't see that much coming out of the churches which is so obviously doing you know gospel kingdom stuff.